Hey friends, it's Mrs. Walker. For our lesson today, we're going to continue talking about the attributes of shapes, and we're going to focus on the cube today. So our learning goal for today says, I can relate the square to the cube and describe the cube based on attributes. So the materials that you'll need for this lesson are some toothpicks, two pieces of paper, and then like eight and a half by 11. That's just a regular sheet of paper. And then some sort of sticky material. So if you have mar mini marshmallows, you can use those. If you have like gumdrops, you can use those. Maybe some sticky tack. Um, that's gonna help make your cube stand up as we actually build it. Now, if you don't have those materials, just follow along in the lesson and just make sure that you can uh, talk about the attributes of the cube, okay? All right, so let's get started. So watch as I use four toothpicks to build a square. You ready? Okay. Here's one. Oh, I need a marshmallow to help stick it together, right? There's another one. Oh, I got to get these next ones to stick together. So I need, there we go. And I got to stick them all together. So now I have my four toothpicks and I build or use them to build a square. Now, I had to use my marshmallows so the sides would stick together, those corners. Otherwise, if I were to pick this up, it would fall right down. Like, it wouldn't hold together. So I need those marshmallows or something sticky to help them stick together. So what I want you to do is you're going to pause the video. Take four toothpicks and whatever sticky material that you have and stick them together to make a square. Now, just one hint, I know that glue and like a glue stick is sticky, but it's not gonna work for this activity. So don't try and use glue or a glue stick because it won't dry fast enough. So you need something different, okay? So go ahead, use four toothpicks um, and your marshmallows or your sticky material and try and build your square and then click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. Okay, so you're going to describe your square using different attributes, okay? So attributes we talked about are just different characteristics. So I want you to pause the video, think about attributes you could use to describe your square, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. Okay, so here are some of the ones that I came up with. We have two pairs of parallel sides, right? The two on the sides, on the left and the right, are parallel, and the top and the bottom are parallel sides. There's four straight sides. The sides are all the same length, right? We can refer to this square as different names. We can call it a polygon, a quadrilateral, a parallelogram, a trapezoid. Oh, goodness, and it's also a special rectangle. Okay, so there's lots of different names we could call this square that we have here. Uh, but the main attributes are two pairs of square, uh, parallel sides, four straight sides, and the sides are the same length. A square can also be used to build a solid shape that has equal sides. Here's a cube. What shape are the faces of this cube? And if you don't remember what faces are, they're kind of like our sides of our cube. So what shape, and I just outlined one of the faces in yellow, what shape is that? Yeah, it's a square. So the faces of our cube are all squares. So now I want to build a cube with toothpicks. How many would I need? Oh, right away, some of you are thinking, I don't know, right? Mm, not sure. Well, you know what? Let's count the edges. Okay, so first we'll count the edges on the bottom. So one, two, three, four. Next, we'll count the edges around the middle. So it's kind of like the parts that are sticking up. Okay, so five, six, seven, eight. Now we'll count the edges around the top. So we're at eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So how many edges does a cube have? At 12 edges. So can we use this square that we built, right? We have this square that we built. Can we use this square that we already built to construct our cube? Can we get that a start for us? Yes, we sure can, right? We can say that's the bottom of our cube. All right, so how many more toothpicks do we need to build this cube? OK, 
Okay, so I want you to pause the video. I want you to think about it. There's 12 edges, and in our square that we have, we already have four edges. So how many more toothpicks do we need to build the cube? So pause, solve that, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends. So like I said, we already, we have 12 that we know. There's 12 edges. We just counted all of those. We already have four in our square that we built. So 12 minus four is eight. We need eight more toothpicks. All right, so get eight more toothpicks and some more marshmallows or whatever sticker material you're using and see if you can use your square to make a cube that looks like mine. So friends, let me give you kind of a hint to get you started. So you're using your square that you've already built. That's your bottom, okay? So that squares our edges one, two, three, and four on my cube. Then you need to build up on your cube, okay? So we need to build edges five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, stick those in the marshmallows so those marshmallows will hold nice and strong and then build your square on top of that. Okay, so pause the video, create your cube that looks like mine and then click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. Okay, so check out my cube. Ready? Here it is. Ta-da! Okay, so my cube is probably like, my cube looks pretty good because I can build it here, right? I can build it in a video, so it's a little bit easier. Now your cube might be maybe kind of tilting a little bit because your marshmallows aren't as strong. It's okay, as long as it looks close to being a cube, you guys are good for this, okay? So don't expect it to be perfect. All right, so let's take a look at our cubes. How can we figure out how many corners our cube has? What do you think we could do? Yeah, you got it. We can count the marshmallows we used, right? Because whenever the two sides come together, that's where we would put a marshmallow for a corner. So you can count the ones on the bottom first and then count the ones on the top. How many corners does a cube have? So I want you to pause the video. I want you to count how many corners the cube has and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. Okay, so how many corners does a cube have? Yeah, it has eight corners, you got it. Okay, so they have four on the bottom and then four on the top. So four plus four equals eight. So friends, I don't know about you, but this toothpick, this toothpick cube, it, it looks like it's missing something, like kind of as I'm looking at it. It's just, you know, I'm gonna call it a skeleton cube. What do you think it's missing? I want you to pause the video and I want you to really look at it. What do you think this cube is missing? Yeah, it's missing the sides or the faces, right? So it's like it's just you're seeing the bones of your cube right now. Okay, so we want to cover up the bones with some skin. And we can use our paper to create faces for our cubes. So earlier, you said that the faces are squares. So how can we make the squares that are the right size? What do you think? Well, we could trace the bottom of our cube, right? That would give us the, the right size. Or we can measure it. Let's trace the bottom of our cubes. So I want you to make enough squares to cover all of the faces. So you're going to take that one sheet of paper, you're going to trace the bottom of your cube, and you have to make enough to be able to cover all of the faces. Okay? So I want you to pause the video, make enough squares to cover all of those faces, and then stick them on your cube. Okay? So pause the video, do that, and then click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. Okay, so here's my cube once I covered it up, okay? So again, mine is gonna look pretty perfect. Yours is probably not gonna look as perfect. And you know what, friends? If I was really sitting there with you right now doing this, cutting it out of paper and making it with marshmallows and, and toothpicks, mine's not gonna look perfect either, okay? So as, again, as long as it looks close to a cube, you're good for this part of the lesson, okay? All right, so. 
How many squares did it take to make the cube? Well, we know that there's four around the sides, one on the top and one on the bottom. So that's a total of six faces. With six faces, our cube is complete and it's no longer a skeleton, right? Okay, awesome. So we know that a cube has six square faces and eight corners. Do you remember how many toothpicks we need to build our cube? Okay, well, how many? How many do we need? Yeah, we needed 12 toothpicks. We can call the toothpicks edges. So the cube has 12 edges. So it has 12 edges and six faces. Okay, so what are some attributes you know about a cube? I want you to pause the video for a second and just think about that. What are some attributes that we could use to describe this cube? All right, friends, here we go. So what are some things that we could say that describe this cube? Yeah, well, it has eight corners, right? Because those are the marshmallows that needed eight marshmallows. It had six faces that are squares, 12 edges, because we used 12 toothpicks, and the sides are all the same length because each face is a square. And we know that squares have all the same side lengths. Awesome. Those are just some attributes we can use to describe our cube. All right, so now that we know the attributes of a cube and can build a cube, let's try drawing one. I don't know about you guys, but you know, it sounds kind of fun to be able to draw. All right, so here's your piece of paper. You need to take that other piece of paper that you have, okay? Then you're gonna take your piece of paper and fold it in half like a hot dog, okay? So you're gonna fold it just like this. So pause the video, fold it in half real quick like a hot dog, so a long way, and then click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. All right, the next step is take your piece of paper and fold it in half like a hamburger two times. So your first fold is gonna give you a line here and your second fold is gonna give you a line here. So you should have four across the top and four across the bottom. So pause the video, do that, and then click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, friends. So let's start drawing our cube, ready? Okay, so step one, start by drawing your best square in box one. So just like this, okay? You wanna draw it a little bit to the side, to the left side a little bit, so you have some space on the right to keep drawing your cube, okay? So pause the video, draw your best square that you can in box one. Doesn't have to be perfect, you don't have to get out a ruler, just draw as neatly as you can. So pause the video, draw a square in box one, and then click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, friends, here's step two. Oh, so before that, you've already drawn one face of a cube. Right there, there's one face. Nailed it, good job. Okay, now here's step two. Start at the middle of the top edge, but a little bit above, and draw a straight line parallel to that top edge, about the same length. Okay, so watch, I'm gonna draw it for you. So again, here's your box. See my top line? You're drawing a little bit kind of halfway in between, a little bit there, parallel to that top line. It can't be crooked, okay? So pause the video, do that next step in box two, and then click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. All right, so, so far, what do you see? Yeah, it's the front face of our cube, right? And then we also see like a top parallel line there. All right, step three. Make a square corner with the right side parallel to the right edge. So it sounds a little tricky, but don't worry, I'm gonna show you. Hang on, I did that the wrong way. All right, so here's what we have. And then you're gonna connect right here. Okay, but don't go all the way down. Notice how I stop a little bit before the bottom. Okay, so now you're gonna pause the video, do step three, and then click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. All right, step four. Okay, so here we have our parts. Now you're gonna draw three lines to connect the corners of the square to the face 
um, to face the endpoints and corner of the lines you drew. Okay, so look here. You're just connecting the lines. And now you have your cube. Okay, all right, so pause the video, do that last step, and then click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, friends. So we... All right, so what do you see now? Pause if you need to think about it for a second. But you should see a cube, right? It's a cube. But since it's not a flat shape, some of the faces are hiding, okay? But we know that we can only see three of them, even though we know that there's six faces on a cube, okay? So you guys are right, that is a cube. But some of the faces are hiding. We can only see three of them, right? The one in the front, the top, and on the right side. But we know that there's six total faces on a cube, okay? So before you begin your, pro begin your problem set today, you guys can use those bottom four boxes to try, try and draw four separate cubes, okay? So it's just a way to get some practice. But you have those four steps across the top of the page to help you remember, okay? So... Oh yeah, you guys did an awesome job relating the square to the cube and describing the cube based on the attributes, the characteristics of that cube. So fantastic work with that. And I hope you guys had fun doing a little bit of drawing today and building with our toothpicks. Okay, so great job. Please head back on over to the module to see what you need to complete for your independent practice. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to help and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye friends.